welcome to our documentary. I'm Ella, Rianne and Chloe. This is our home. Hello viewers, welcome to our start motion. Look at this map. This map is of the Indus Valley. We are bigger than Britain, four times bigger. Can you believe that? Woo! Let's go to somewhere different. Bye-bye! This is our farmland which is built next to the river, the Indus River. We call our river the Big King River. We needed this river to irrigate our crops. Actually, I meant the King River, not the Big King River. Did you know that the roads are made for the elephants to cross each other? Hey, we thought of that idea before you first. Our civilization seems to have been a peaceful one. The Indus Valley seems to have stayed the same for hundreds of years. Okay. Bonk! Better go now! Bye bye! Bye bye again! We, we like near, living near the river because it kept the land green and fertile for growing crops. We lived together in the villages which grew over time in large ancient cities like Harappan and MD. Hello from the other side! Bye-bye, Joe. 21 centuries later. Hi, I'm an Arctic and I'm exploring the ancient city of Harappa, which is in the Indus Valley Civilization. Hi. They were very advanced, you see. They followed the same book that mentions new alphabet liquids and they had their own sewage systems. Boink, boink, trundle. Woohoo! These are seals. When you traded, you had to have seals on them. Otherwise, you could not sell or trade stuff. These had the seller's name on them. Boink, 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 boink. They didn't leave tubes or temples behind them and there was no sign of goddesses or gods that they prayed to. No evidence of them, please. Do, 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 do. We can learn that Indus Valley people focused on play rather than other civilizations who focused on worship. Anyway, bye bye. Bye bye again. Hey, I said bye bye. Twenty centuries earlier. Welcome to the day in the life of a rapping girl. In this section, you will experience the life of a rapping girl. Um, can you see me? <laughs> anyway, we gain and lose things by trading with other people. So my mother has made a trip to the city market. You can buy and sell stuff from the city market. Woo! Let's trade! Uh oh! Mother's left her seals at home. I'd better go to the market to send the seals to her. Clank, 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 rubble, rubble, rubble. Going outside because the Indus Valley was very hot. Some houses even had roofs you could walk on. A bit like the heat wave that is going on right now, really. But it might go away eventually, really. After a while. Found my mother. Can I have a chicken for a ring? Thank you. Did you know that seals had the seller's name on it? Now I can lay some eggs forever! Finally at home now, I'll go to the courtyard, a large open space for playing with toys and pets, like monkeys and birds, so bye bye. <coughs> Woohoo! These toys are very fun, and the toy is galloping to me! <laughs> and this one is my most favourite toy! <laughs> 
20 centuries earlier. Hi, I'm a, a girl in the year 1007 BC and this city is collapsing. Boom, gum, crash! <laughs> Newer houses were built on top of older houses. Even important buildings like the Great Tabatha MD were built over. <laughs> Our main trained partner was MP, which was an advanced civilization in the Middle East. Around the time the inner city started to fail, MP was going through huge political problems. The trade network collapsed and this would have had a great impact on the cities. Stop! Many historians believe that the Indus civilization collapsed because of the changes to the geography and the climate of the area. Drip, drop, drip, drop, the rain is falling down. Well, I'd better move house, so bye-bye. Thank you for watching Stop Motion. Ah, get me out of it. Hi, my name is Leah, and this is the city near the Indus Valley. Here we don't use real money, we just trade. We trade food and things that we made. This is the place where we sleep. We don't have much room because we make stuff. This is the India's Valley River. Some people use their house as workshops and trade the stuff. We also get monkeys and chickens and other pets as pocket money. We learn how to make stuff from, from our, our parents, parents and carers. We look after monkeys as pets and other animals. Our symbols. They have a type of language and they wrote in symbols. They use bricklayers instead of having wood. They trade water and pots with blocks we that make our they own call money because everyone thinks they're very nice. We trade them for lots of different things like pots. We make all different ones and everyone loves to wear them. We use pots for lots of different things, including taking drinks and trading them. No one knows why they disappeared, but it could have been an invasion. It could be in a war. The river could have been dried. They might have starved. They could have died out. It could have been a flood because of the river. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. Bye. Hi, my name is Irish. I will be showing you around the Indus Valley. Hi, the Indus Valley so was I'm home to I'm one I'm of the world's now. first large civilizations. People make toys such as monkeys and birds made out of clay for children to play with. In the morning we go out to work at our farm for crops and food. The children go to school while the parents go to work. In the Indus Valley it was really hot and children could, pl could play with their pets such as monkeys and birds. People who live in the Indus Valley, they usually wear jewellery and trade it. 
Hi, I'm Iris. I live in the Indus Valley City, close by the Indus Valley River. We work hard to create equipment that will help us. The equipment that is used is used in modern day. This is the map of where we live. We love living in the Indus Valley. We have lots of comfy houses and hard working equipment. This is the trading bit. Since we don't have any money, we, use, we trade items for other items that you want. We would get monkeys to trade or some other nice things are thousands of years old along with the river as also and also houses but most rich families would have gate yards and would have let the children play in the gardens to play with monkeys and small and small toys people would be outside most of the time because it was so hot the paths were so wide that two elephants could walk past each other Kids um, used to play making clay toys or playing with the small toys given to them. Indus River helped us to grow crops for water, but years later it all dried up. Everyone died because it was too it was too hot and no water. Hi, my name is Jess. I live in the Indus Valley Civilization. Let me show you around our city. There are more than 400 cities and 50,000 people in each city. This map shows you where our civilization took place 4,500 years ago. This civilization was built when Stonehenge was built. How cool is that? Let's move on. We are going to the market. See you there. Here we trade items for more valuable items since we didn't have money back then. Did you know that our civilization is four times bigger than Britain? The farmers who work here, they take the apples to the market for people to buy. This is a map of Britain compared to the Indus Valley. You always need to remember to bring the artifacts with you to the market in case you need to trade. I am in a group of farmers. We produce the foods for the city and we trade the rest of it for other valuable items in the town. Almost 4,000 years ago, we were the world's first and largest civilization. We originated from Pakistan and our rivers began up in our largest mountains, the Himalayan mountains. At home, I make jewellery while mum and dad works. Once I have made it, I go to different towns around the city so I can get things to make more jewellery to trade. So if you ask me, it's kind of like a loop until the end of the day. I also do farming with some adults. We do it every three days a week, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We only do it three days since the others volunteer.
Some families who are richer had courtyards so the children could play. Believe it or not, kids had monkeys and birds as pets. You can learn a lot from our written language. Our language was placed on the steels that our parents used for trading. The bricks we used then is the same bricks that you use now. Our bricks were made from mud and after that we microwaved it to make more. Some people believe that we got invaded by the Romans or the Vikings. Although a lot of other people believe that we stopped trading. But to be honest, nobody knows. Although some others believe that it was a natural disaster because they saw what happened in the city. Hi, my name's Siri. Welcome to the Indus Valley. Let's take a look around. There are more than 1,400 towns and cities, two of which have over 80,000 people there. We are four times the size of the UK. We trade and grow crops. The river is a very good source of food, water and transportation. This is the type of food that we grow and trade. We are very ahead of time. Our roads are exactly two metres apart for two elephants to pass through them. The river is a very good way of transport. Our houses are mostly used for workshops. So the river doesn't flood, we built a giant wall around our city. In our spare time, we would play chess. We created the dice. Cool, right? Since it's so hot, we would spend most of our time outside. In my mum's spare time, she will create artefacts. My dad will sell these at the market to other civilizations for valuable items. In spare time, we will practice our crops. In the meantime, my mum will cook eggs, bread, or any type of food, and we would eat it yum. The things that my mum would create in her meantime would take her around 30 minutes. If we were ever hungry, there would always be food on the table for us to eat. After our food, we would wave to our friends and we would go down and practice our crops. Since we had just had food, my mum would clean up after us. Or she would make us food. When she was around, we were never hungry. When it would get dark, my mum would water the crops, helping my dad. My dad would clean up the mess and collect all the rubbish for the morning. This is the day in the life of an Indus Valley person.
We stopped maintaining the sewage systems and viruses gathered up and that's how people thought we died. Hi and welcome to the Inland Valley. This is a map of our city. As you can see, we are located next to a river and we are also four times greater than the UK. We were a peaceful city. We didn't have a country. Instead, we were trade and our houses were made of brick, just like you. We have over 1,400 towns and cities and we lived on the banks of the Indus Valley River. As we mentioned before, our houses were made of brick and they were also neatly structured. Our farmers like living near the river because it kept the land green and helped grow crops. As you can see, this man is doing the exact same. He's getting food for his family and his friends. In the cities were neatly flattened. The main streets were almost 10 metres wide, enough to fit an elephant. And also, as we mentioned before, our cities were up neatly flattened. Drains were not only had to our streets to carry rubbish and wells, were dug for clean water. Hi and welcome to the Indus Valley. Our traders would trade valuable goods for stuff like chicken and turkey so we would not starve and we could eat lots of food and stay healthy. As you can see, many people came to the market and trade. This rich person can buy stuff like helmets and even get packs. I know this is a bit unrealistic but they were that evolved. We don't just trade, we have farmers so we can eat crops so we don't starve and we can stay fit and healthy as we still have energy. Women make jewellery and also get water for their family. As you can see, this is what they're doing in this picture. Slash video. I live in Indus Valley City and this is my city. We are the only people to not have emperors. Isn't that amazing? That we are four times bigger than Britain as well. City that the same chores as parents because they don't go to school. In the Indus Valley civilization, we don't use money, but we're very big on trading. Siri, wake up! Said my mum. So I got up. And I had my breakfast. It was porridge. Oopsies, I actually got some on my face. Now I'm going to have to take this off and clean it all up. Then, me and my mum went to go to a market so we can trade for more stuff that we don't have. And then, if we wanted to, we could also trade them stuff for something even better. Once we were finished with the market, we went to the farm so we could get some eggs and milk for dinner. Oh, and I also got some sausages. On the way home, we saw children going to school, but I can't go because I'm too young. When I got home, I went to see my monkey. His name is Bozo. Isn't he the cutest? Then, my dad came back from work and uh, bought me pocket money. It was a chicken. I'm so grateful for it. Then we set up a stand and traded my chicken. I will tell you what I got later. This is what I got from my trade with the chicken. Isn't it beautiful? Trade is important to us. We use trading almost every day to get items. We use it for our food and other stuff. 
just like this bear. This is probably a huge example. I could just set up a stall right here and then start trading whenever I need in this exact location. It's just open space for anyone to trade. It's so simple to set it up. Nobody actually knows what happened to the Indus Valley people. There's a lot of theories that I'm about to tell you. The first one is people thought that there was a drought and the river started to dry up ever so slowly. It started to, because then we would have no crops and no water supply. Then eventually we would die. Now, the second theory is that there was a huge invasion of an army or something starting to kill them all. If this happened, then that means they would have got robbed or something like that. So they most likely they all died as well. The third theory was there was a natural disaster. Here's an earthquake. There could have been any other natural disaster, whether it's a flood or something. The last theory was that there were trades stopped and there was no resources for anyone to have or to trade so they wouldn't have enough resources, they wouldn't be able to help each other that much and they wouldn't have to be and they would have to have a farmer or something on their own side. Most people think that there was a drought because there was no water when Artitext looked around, so it was basically very, very hard for them to know. Hey, I'm Nevaeh. I'm Dylan. And we live in the Indus Valley. Without things like the Indus Valley River, we will never survive. The Indus Valley River, the longest river in Pakistan, is extremely important to our civilization <laughs> because we will not have water or crops. The Indus Valley was home to one of the most largest civilizations. It began almost 5,000 years ago in a massive area of modern day. There were more than 1,400 towns and cities in the Indus Valley. Our Indus cities had street paths which were 10 metres wide. They could fit two elephants next to each other on them. The very year I wake up some months, so I finally got dressed and went to the kitchen. For breakfast, I had porridge. It was very hot in the Indus Valley. Most of the time, we was outside. The names Harappa and Modern Darrow were given to the cities in later times. Most people had small homes which was also used as a workshop. There was not much space to relax. People who did not have courtyards would still have a flat roof. Most people played board games like chess, but others were, were stuck there doing choir. The Indus Valley civilization left no templates or tombs. There are also no remains of the great statues or kings or gods. It is very important to play the um, play music for the Indus Valley people. And soft, the Indus Valley people made soft clay toys and pointing si sticks to write. Square satellite seals like this have been found at Modern Darrow, showing that they have used symbols for writing, just like this. By 7, 1700 BC, trade stopped, so many in the cities had been abandoned. It started to fall apart around 1900 BC. Trade was very important to the Indus Valley civilization. They 
they suffered a huge war 